The Blicky Gang is one of the biggest rap crews to come out of New York in the past few years. Their biggest artist, 22Gs, helped spark the Brooklyn Drill sound, and other Blicky Gang affiliates, such as Nick Blicky and Coach The Ghost, also helped put the crew on the map. But the Blickies have recently suffered a major setback after nine members of the group were caught up in a major gun trafficking takedown. Let's take a closer look at this wild story. The Blicky gang popped off in the late 2010s after Brooklyn rapper 22Gs went viral with tracks like Blicky and Suburban. Blicky, produced by Axel Beats, was considered one of the first major Brooklyn drill songs to blow up and become popular other than Bobby Shmurda's hot the Blicky Gang is affiliated with the Gangsta Disciples, who operate out of Ebbets Field, the Prospect LaFerce Garden neighborhood of Brooklyn. The GDs have a long history of beef in New York City. The gang was founded in Chicago and is big in other parts of the South and Midwest. They have a pretty large presence in Brooklyn as well, but not as much as the Bloods and Crips. The GDs are known to be for nearly every other gang in Brooklyn except for the sets they're allied with. The Blicky Gang is also part of a large gang alliance called the Chos, who are known to be with another umbrella gang called the Wu. The shows are made up of GDs and Bloods, and the Wu are primarily Crips and Bloods. Popular rappers affiliated with the Wu include Pop Smoke, 5 Year Foreign, and Raw Swish, while the biggest show rappers are 22Gs, Coach the Ghost, and Nas Blicky. These two groups have been beefing for several years, but the conflict became known to the public after Brooklyn Drill started to gain popularity. With 22Gs leading the charge, the Blicky Gang would be the most notable show affiliated rap group in Brooklyn, which made them natural enemies of nearly every other popular rapper in the area. 22Gs would eventually get locked up following a wild road rage incident in Miami that resulted in a police chase and one person being killed. 19-year-old Jeffrey Alexander allegedly shot and killed 30-year-old Ladarian Tyrell Phillips of Homestead. Alexander then fled to Alton Road and 6th Street with his three friends, say police, one of whom died after being shot by the cops. He would be arrested for conspiracy to commit murder and spent five months in jail in 2017, but eventually beat the charge. During this time, Nick Blicky would step up to the plate and start rapping. Around that time, another rapper affiliated with the Blicky gang, Coach the Ghost, was released from prison after being indicted in a major police takedown of the Hood Stars, the early name for the Chos. Coach would quickly start gaining the buzz with tracks like Gooey Sauce and Hit List, which gained a lot of attention because it featured a Pop Smoke disc after the rapper had recently passed. Coach almost signed the Gucci Mane 1017 label, but was eventually dropped for unknown reasons, although he still seems to be on good terms with Goo Wop. But just as the Blicky gang would start to gain a major buzz in the industry, tragedy would strike. In May 2020, Nick Blicky would be shot and killed in Brooklyn. A popular rapper was shot and killed overnight. Nick Blixey was uh, discovered with gunshot wounds on Winthrop Street. Police later identified a suspect using surveillance footage from the scene, which revealed that the rapper dapped him up before shooting him, suggesting that it was someone the rapper knew. Although an official motive has not been determined, police believe that it was related to the violent war between the Wolves and the Chos and retaliation for other members of Blicky gang this and Pop Smoke. Not long after that, there would be more internal fighting within the group after Coach the Ghost announced that Envy Kane, another popular rapper affiliated with the Blicky Gang, was no longer part of the Chos. But the poison is no longer part of the tree. You get me? So whatever shit this had going on ain't got nothing to do with GD or Cho. At all. Nothing. Although Envy Kane was never officially part of the Blicky Gang, he was a member of the GDs and has collaborated with 22Gs on several tracks. But after an incident where the rapper was allegedly robbed and caused issues with other troll affiliates in Atlanta, Coach the Ghost went on Instagram to announce that Envy was no longer a GD. Because Coach was an OG hood star who did seven years without snitching on the gang, he has a lot of pull over the GDs in Brooklyn. So this announcement was a major controversy within the troll organization. Now it seems like things are getting even worse for the Blicky gang after nine suspects were arrested in a gun trafficking scandal that included weapons used in their music videos. Earlier this year, Federal authorities in the Southern District of New York busted a major illegal firearm operation being run by a gunrunner named Devon Wilson. Wilson was acting as what is called a straw purchaser, someone who acts as a middleman in a gun purchase on behalf of someone who cannot legally possess a firearm, typically because they're a convicted felon. The feds tied Wilson to the purchase of 87 guns, which he would then turn around and sell to his co-defendants, who are members of the Blicky gang. They would then either sell the guns in Georgia or bring them to New York on a bus. Some of the weapons were confiscated before making it into NYC while some ended up in the hands of Blicky Gang members who use them as props in their music videos. New York has pretty strict gun laws, and the NYPD uncovered the operation after launching an investigation into how guns were coming into the city. The police were able to pinpoint the buyer, which eventually led them to link some of the guns recovered to the Blicky Gang through their music videos. During the investigation, they also tied one of the illegal guns to a case that involved shots fired at police officers in the Bronx, which really made them step up their investigation. Lisa O. Monaco, the deputy attorney general, even stated in a press conference that breaking up the gun trafficking routes in cities like New York was one of her top priorities. The police ended up tying the Blicky gang to the trafficking ring 
after Devon Wilson, the straw purchaser who bought the guns in Georgia on behalf of the Blicky gang, flipped and agreed to testify. Wilson purchased the guns in his own name from legal gun sellers in Georgia, but he lied on the paperwork and claimed that the guns were for personal use when he was actually selling them to his co-defendants. It's a federal crime to make false statements on gun purchase forms, which includes lying about the identity of the buyer. Even though Wilson could pass a background check, most of the people he was selling to probably couldn't, which is a violation of federal law. After police realized that Wilson was a straw purchaser, they quickly put him under arrest. Faced with the possibility of taking the heat for the entire operation, Wilson agreed to tell police who the buyer was. He named James Thomas, aka Spaz, and Courtney Schloss, aka B-Way, as the primary buyers. All the police had to do after that was sit back and wait for the Blicky gang to cinch on themselves by appearing in several music videos with stolen guns. Cloud chasing has been the biggest downfall for this new generation of rappers. Some just can't help showing off their criminal lifestyle on social media, which can lead to serious problems if you're really living that life you talk about in the music. It seems like the Blicky gang kept it a little too real and probably should have been more careful with flexing stolen guns that they help traffic. The videos that show the guns are called Word to Folk by St. Laurent Sour and Tay627 and Guns in the Booth, which is a St. Laurent Sour solo track. The videos are full of stolen firearms, many of which the police eventually confiscated as part of their operation. Police were able to determine that Wilson would purchase the firearms legally, then sell them to Spaz and B-Way, who would turn around and distribute them to other members of the Blicky gang. They had a pretty tight operation running and probably could have gone on for a lot longer if the Blickies had been better about keeping their activities low key. Police were able to determine that one 22 caliber handgun seized in operation had been used to fire three shots at police by a suspect who was fleeing on foot. Plus, the month before the arrest, police seized four firearms, including a Smith & Wesson 40 caliber pistol that had been purchased by Wilson while executing a search warrant in connection with the arrest of a man wanted for a murder in Brooklyn. In total, nine members of the Blicky gang, including eight men and one woman, were named in the indictment. They included Blicky gang members Spaz, Dupree, B-Way, or Balenci, Ryu, Sour, Sosa, Chris Elite, Mel, and White Girl. Police are cracking down everywhere on the transportation of illegal weapons, especially in New York, where the crime rate has recently spiked over the past year. The cops already have it out for drill rappers, so as soon as they catch them slipping, they show no mercy. The Blicky gang is gonna have an uphill battle from here. After losing two key members, Nick Blicky and Lou Blicky to gun violence, and now nine more in this indictment, they're running out of members left on the streets. 22 G's and Nas Blicky are free to hold it down for the squad, but they're gonna have a hard time now with most of their crew locked up. When you combine this with the fact that the group has already been blackballed from the industry because of their constant beef with other powerful gangs in Brooklyn, it's gonna be tough for the Blicky gang to continue and build momentum. It isn't entirely over for the gang, and they still have a dedicated core fan base with plenty of respect in the streets of Brooklyn, but this is a major setback for the crew who are allegedly underdogs to begin with. Somehow, the gang managed to set up an interstate gun smuggling operation that was undetected by police for a long time. Who knows what they could have accomplished if they put that energy into something positive. But this is yet another case of talented rappers getting caught up because they continue to live a lifestyle of crime and violence and even post it all online for police to use as evidence. 22Gs will have to hold it down for the whole squad because it seems like it may be a while before the other members are back on the streets. 